So for our first example, let's say we have the decimal 0 0.014, and we want to convert that to a, a, a fraction. So we do have nothing in the tenths, one in the hundredths, and four in the thousandths. But as a whole, we have 14 in the farthest position, which is the thousandths position. So we write this as 14 one thousandths, right? So you can read it as tenths, hundredths, thousands, but read both digits together in the farthest position, in the thousands. So we have 14 out of 1,000. So how do we simplify this? 14 out of 1,000. We can divide top and bottom by what? By 2. We can divide top and bottom by 2. And what do we get when we do that? 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. And the answer is 7 five hundredths. And that's the final answer. Okay, and the next problem, let's take a look at 5.26, 5.26. So again, the whole number is five, let's focus only on the 0 0.26. So this is uh, 26 in the farthest position, the hundredths position, 26 in the one hundredth position. So we're gonna simplify that, 26 one hundredths, we're gonna divide top and bottom by what, by two because they're both even. 26 divided by 2, if you do the long division on that, you'll see that that's 13. And 100 divided by 2 is 50. So 13 fiftieths, now we attach it to the 5, 5 and 13 fiftieths. 5 and 13 fiftieths. All right, next problem. Let's say 4.7, and we're going to convert this guy into a mixed number. So we have now 0 0.7. Let's just take a look at the fractional part. It's seven in the tenths position, seven tenths. And I can't simplify that anymore, so I'm just gonna attach it to the whole number of four and make it four and seven tenths, and that's the final answer. So some of these don't really require much work. All right, let's take a look at 3.12. Let's focus on 0 0.12. This is 12 in the farthest position, which is the hundredths position. How do we simplify that fraction? We can divide top and bottom, let's say 12 one hundredths. We could divide by two, of course we could do that, but we can do better than that, we can divide by actually four. 12 divided by four is three, and 100 divided by four is 25. So we have three twenty-fifths. We attach it to the three, three twenty-fifths. All right, that's the final answer. All right, now let's take a look, 0 0.8. Let's convert that to a fraction. This is in the tenths place, so it's eight tenths. And then we simplify this. We have eight, we have 10. We divide top and bottom by something. Eight divided by, we can divide by two, right? Two divided by two. Eight divided by two is four, and 10 divided by two is five. We get an answer of four fifths. Four fifths. There's no whole number, so that's the final answer, four fifths. All right, believe it or not, that is the halfway mark of the lesson. All right, here's problem number six. Let's take a look at 9.028. Let's focus on the fractional part, 0 0.028. It's 28 in the farthest position, which is thousandths. We have to simplify that guy. So we have 28. What can we divide by? We can actually divide the top and bottom by four. We can divide by two, but then you would have to do it again. 28 divided by four is seven. Seven times four is 28. And uh, 1,000 divided by four is 250. If you think about 100 divided by four is 25, 1,000 divided by four is 250. So we attach this to the nine and make it nine and seven 250ths. And that's the final answer. All right, next, 2.29. Let's take 0 0.29 and let's write it. It's 29 in the hundredths place. 29 hundredths, 29 hundredths. All right, how do we simplify this? Actually, we cannot divide top and bottom by anything, so we just attach it to the two, two and 29 one hundredths. And that's the final answer. All right, we only have, Three more. Let's take a look at 6.5, and we're going to take the 0 0.5, 
and we're going to represent it. Here we have in the tenths place, it's five in the tenths place. But we can simplify this because we can divide top and bottom by what? Five. And so five divided by five is one and 10 divided by five is two. So we have six and a half. And that is the final answer, six and one half. Only two more problems, 0 0.55. All right, we have 55 in the farthest position, which is hundreds, 55, 100. Now we can simplify this by dividing by what? Well, we can divide both by five, both divisible by five. All right, and uh, 55 divided by five is 11 because 11 times five is 55, and then 100 divided by five is actually 20. So the answer we get is 11 20th. That's the uh, fractional equivalent here. All right, we only have one more problem. Let's take a look. 1.034, 1.034. Let's take the fractional part, 0.034. Uh, and we're going to represent that. It's 34 in the farthest position, which is thousands. All right, can I simplify this? 34,000. What do I divide top and bottom by? All right, you can divide top and bottom by two because they're both even. 34 divided by two, when you work that out, you'll get 17. And 1,000 divided by two, you'll get 500. So I'll attach this to the one, and you'll get one and 17 five hundredths. And that's the answer, 1 in 17,500. So that wraps up the idea of converting a decimal into a fraction. And it wraps up this whole unit here, where we have learned uh, and reviewed the ideas of what is a fraction, how to compare fractions, how to order fractions from smallest to largest, least to greatest. We've also talked about common denominators. We've talked about greatest common factors. We've talked about least common multiples. We've talked about a ton of things. They're all incredibly important because in the next unit, we will go back and work more problems with adding and subtracting fractions along with some other topics that are important. Everything we've learned here, and I do mean everything, is important as we move on through the sequence. So I'd like you to solve all of these problems, and then when, we, uh, when you're satisfied you're doing well, follow me on to the next lesson in the next unit, and we'll continue your studies step by step. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.